Our latest property is a commercial deal in London. It's not one of our traditional income and capital growth investments. This is value creation. This sort of deal is very established uh, at a specialist part of the commercial market and it helps to understand the main drivers of this market. So at the top end are the institutional funds looking for low risk, long term income at the lowest cost of funds. They're generally looking for passive management. They don't like to roll their sleeves up and do the active bits. Now this leaves the door open for the skilled and nimble restructuring specialists seeking higher risk but with higher returns who take buildings with short leases or vacants possibly needing a bit of care and attention and as you can imagine this is a cash intensive operation. The way these are traditionally funded are either uh, through opportunity funds or exclusive private consortiums. So our commercial property director Xavier Pullen has been able to secure access to one of these opportunities through Riverside Capital, an investment platform for professional investors. It's a unique opportunity that's not to be missed. So what is the property? It's a large freehold commercial building with offices on the upper floors and retail on the ground floor with a pub restaurant at the rear. As you can see from the floor plan pictorial on the investment case, the building's been acquired for £47 million, but there are several vacant floors. The proposal for value generation is shown on the right, with a target sale value of £63.1 million uh, December 2021. The floors will be fully let by then, some having been refurbished with higher letting rates. So what's great about this property is the location being close to major London interchanges. Cannon Street Mainline Station is 100 yards away, just down the road, and the Mainline Station of London Bridge is a short walk over the bridge. Um, and also a new entrance to Bank Station is being built adjacent to the property. So I'm just going to hand over to Mark for his views on the projected letting rates and values. The City of London office market has continued to demonstrate resilience throughout 2018 with strong demand from overseas investors and business occupiers in the face of wider market uncertainty. Prime rental yields have held firm at 4% this year. Once the sole preserve of the banking and finance industry, the City of London has evolved to become a home to a far wider range of business types, particularly since the rapid expansion of shared workspace providers in recent years, most notably WeWork. According to data from CBRE, while a third of newly let office space in Q3 2018 was taken up by finance firms, 25% was taken up by firms in the creative industries and 22% by business services firms. Occupy demand is strongest for newly constructed or recently redeveloped high quality space and is currently outstripping supply. 5.2 million square feet of new space became available in the city in the past 12 months, which is 16% below the 10 year average level and more than 60% of buildings completed in Q3 2018 are already let or under offer. Rents have proven resilient at the prime end of the market holding steady at £68.50 per square foot, with capital values also unchanged this year at £1,100 per square foot for the choicest new space. Forecasts from CoStar indicate that these levels will hold firm for the next three to five years, suggesting there's plenty of room for growth in rental and capital values for the Sherborne House scheme as a result of the redevelopment work taking place. This property has already been purchased uh, and it's fully underwritten uh, with the project already underway. They've already found a new tenant for one of the floors, which is great. And the fact that we're able to get a portion of the invest this investment now from an existing investor who's happy to release a small portion of his current investment to free up working capital is, is really fantastic. There's a million pounds worth of investment available for property partner clients, and we're thrilled to be able to make this available on platform, which would otherwise be quite difficult to access directly. Mm -hmm.